10, like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10s across the board. Can you say scalp? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about this wig from Nia's Wigs. So Nia's Wigs reached out to me to do a review on one of their units and I could choose what I wanted from the site. So I saw this unit on the site and I was like, you know what, I haven't done a bob in a while and bobs are, are my, bobs are actually my staple. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my, bob is like my go-to style, it's what suits my face the most and it's just what I love. I love a bob. So I chose this one, I like the little highlights, I was like, yeah, you know what, let's see what it looks like. And now that I have the wig, I'm absolutely floored, like I love the wig. I know I'm meant to wait till the end to tell you my thoughts and everything, but no, this wig is stunning, like absolutely stunning. Like the lace is thin, the hair itself is quality, I love, and it's so affordable. For the quality you're getting, it is so affordable. It, so this wig is a 12 inch bob wig with highlights. So it comes pre-dyed, the knots come bleached, it comes pre-plucked. I'm not gonna lie, I did pluck it to my taste, but for you, it depends on your, your level of plucking, your level of wanting to pluck. I don't like my hair to be over plucked, but I like it to be plucked to the point where it looks like <laughs> like I'm not really a professional when it comes to hair but I kind of am I'm, I'm not professional but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist depending on how lazy I am on the day and today I had time because this wig deserved my time and devotion like I am in love so yeah um so yeah in this video I'm gonna be unboxing the hair I'm gonna be styling the hair and I'm going to be installing the hair so if you want to see all of that Please keep on watching. So instead of using alcohol to just wipe the perimeter and make sure there's no makeup, I'm just going to use a wipe because when I use alcohol, I feel like it kind of affects my skin. Like alcohol, then glue, alcohol, then glue, alcohol, then glue. So I've actually started using glue a lot less. I use um, the bedhead spray a lot. But when I first install a wig, I like to use glue because I feel like it just has the most perfect lay. And then after that, I just go in with bedhead for reinstalls. But if you want to see a video on me reinstalling um, a wig that's already been previously used, then let me know. But yes, so I just use a wipe because it will help the glue to lay better. Alcohol is like the best to get like the best lay but alcohol is not really good for the skin in excessive use. So now that that is all clean, I'm gonna put my wig on like this and just have it like hanging off my head, just so, because sometimes when you put the glue on and then try and put the wig on, you get the placement wrong. So I'm just trying to get the placement right and make sure that everything is sitting the way it should. And I'm just gonna let push it back a bit. If I had a bigger forehead, this problem that I'm having with gluing it down would not be a problem at all. But, cheers, hooray me and the small forehead. So I'm gonna go in with the Ghost Bond glue and I'm just gonna tap that. And notoriously, I use a McDonald's popsicle stick to just spread it out. push this back a little bit because it's getting in the way. So now that is spread as evenly as it's gonna be, I'm just going to go That is mostly clear and I'm just going to put one more layer on. So now I am just going to pull the wig forward and attempt to lay it down. I'm just 
gonna try and pull the hair forward so that it meets the wig cap and the glue. Then I have to do the same thing for the other side because see. Actually it feels pretty secure. I feel like I rolled the wig cap back a little bit here, but um hopefully it doesn't show when we're done. <coughs> But yeah, it feels pretty secure. Oh my days, I love it. I love the way it looks. So now I'm just going to tie it down with an elastic band just to just to make sure it is 100% secure. Then I'm just going to use the blow dryer again. So I'm just gonna wait a few minutes, like maybe 20 minutes, for it to really set, and then I'm gonna cut the lace off and attempt to style the wig. I feel like I really like the way the hair is styled already, but I wanna add maybe a little bit more of a bump in the front, and yeah. So yeah, at this point, I am ready to cut the lace off. And then for the ear tabs, I'm just going to use the small scissors. So yeah, as you can see, um, the lace is a little bit too light for me. And I told you earlier that I forgot to um, either tint the lace or add some powder to the lace. So I'm going to try and add some powder now. And fingers crossed, it works out. It's not working out. <laughs> The next step is to use bed head um, and then use the band to spray it down so that it just has that extra hold and extra melt. Hopefully this works out 100% and um, maybe if it doesn't after I do my makeup I'll try and put some bronzer on it and that should melt it in but fingers crossed it works right now. I'm just using a wipe to wipe off the excess of the spray that's coming down. So the spray is for two things, to extra melt and also to kind of like use as a setting spray for the powder to kind of melt it into my skin. So we're going to wait for that to set for like a couple more minutes and then we'll be right back. So yeah, we are back. I went to go and have a quick snack and now um, this should be set and fingers crossed it looks the way we expect it to. Fingers crossed it looks like scalp. Yes! It does, it does, it does, it does. Okay, I have a little bit of excess residue on the sides, but that's nothing. A wipe won't fix, but yes! We got it. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this looks. It's not perfect, but it is good. So, like, if you wanted to make this even nicer, you could add some baby hairs, but I'm not really a baby hair enthusiast. I don't think it does everything for me. And, um, and yeah, considering that the edges didn't really match up with my edges, I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, this part here is, like, kind of creeping me out. I want to do something about it, but maybe I should add the edges. Let's try so I'm going to try and add like just a little bit of baby hairs, nothing major, just to the side. So yeah, I think that should be enough. Get my little razor. I can't find my gel that I would want to use, so I'm just going to use me. I'm going to take a little tiny bit and just put it on there and try and 
mold a little baby hair just to cover up. Oof. This is why I don't like doing baby hair. I just don't, never feel like it works for me. are the bane of my existence like I cannot I cannot I don't have the patience for baby hairs so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup and I'll be right back to style the hair so my face is done and I am back um, I initially wanted to style this hair differently but I don't know I love the way it looks right now and I don't really want to do anything extra to it I did go ahead and do the baby hairs that were giving me struggle and I'm gonna try and fluff them up now dear lord no that's how it will remain look baby hairs are just not my calling <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again baby hairs are not my calling like every time I try to do baby hairs they just want to embarrass me and I'm just like you know what, you stay in your lane and I'll stay in my lane because baby hairs are just, mm -mm. they just, like, I love the way they look on other people but they just don't uh, cooperate with me, like, maybe it's my skill set that just does is not at the level of baby hairs yet, and you know what, I'm going to keep trying, <laughs> I'm going to keep trying because I'm not going to lie, I don't like full, full baby hairs but I like, you know, minimal baby hairs, like, to these two things right here I feel like it just makes the wig look a bit more like my hair and speaking of like my hair I think we nailed this this is like can you say scalp because I think I think I like I nailed this scalp <laughs> scalp so yeah, I really really love the way this wig lays. And anyway, my final thoughts on this wig. This wig is everything, everything. Like, everything about this hair is amazing. The hair itself, quality. The dye job, beautiful. Like, there are minimal flyaways. And flyaways to the point where it looks natural, but not to the point where it's just like, frizz everywhere when you straight like i've washed this hair and look how slick it went back again like mm, this is one of the best hair i've received i'm not gonna lie like no cap this is one of the best hair i've received since i've started doing like wig reviews i'm very very pleased with it like i am already looking on the site like so what else is there for me ever since i started doing hair reviews I've not really thought about buying hair because I've, I've been getting hair sent to me consistently but like this wig has me looking on the site ready to spend my own coin so I can wholeheartedly wholeheartedly recommend this hair to you like this hair is giving me everything the quality of the hair is good all the lace fronts on there are 13 by 6 yes it has that 13 by 6 where um like the sides aren't really like very deep but like from this whole perimeter here it's deep so it's not it's not an issue for me i love the construction of it it has that thing at the back that you can adjust it has them like the wig is literally everything i can really advise you to spend your coin on it like wholeheartedly not one con actually that's a lie there's one con the only one con was like kind of a personal problem because the hairline of it doesn't really fit my hairline but as you can see as you can see I made it work and this actually just looks like it is the hair is coming out of my head my head I love it I love it I love it I love it like I am living the fantasy I look like a 90s queen like I love it like I can't say it enough because stunning stunning and obviously you can tell how thin the lace is by how much it's melting and you saw that it wasn't even my skin tone so if I can make something that's not my skin tone melt like this girl girl like everything about this hair is a plus so yeah 
<laughs> I don't want to talk too much because I only have good things to say. I only have good things to say about this hair. I'm very, very, very happy with this unit. I want more units. I don't mind if Nia's wigs is like the only one that sends me wigs from now on because I am in love. I am absolutely loving it. Like everything is a 10, like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10s across the board. I love it. But anyway, so that is it for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to make some suggestions or ask questions in the comment box down below. And if you're not subscribed, I would love you to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.